welcome fans this is chef lawanda chef lawanda studio and i'm coming back with an exciting new video for you uh tonight i'm going to be preparing my favorite dish and that is a smothered pork steak i'm also going to be preparing for a side dish uh, okra and tomatoes also so in order for this, I've got two nice sized pork steaks here. I've got seasoned flour for that. I've got the uh, Quad Plus, which is um, seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and I also have paprika in this. I call it the Quad Plus. Uh, I also have some oregano. I've got tomato sauce. I've got we're going to use a half a can of diced uh, tomatoes, green chilies with green chilies. I've got chopped onions, black pepper, salt. I've got some uh, bu chicken bouillon flavoring. I have more garlic powder here. I've got chopped bacon and I've got some chopped onion. I've also got some sliced onions for my uh, gravy to go over my pork steak. So why, why don't we get started? So let's just dive right off into it. What I'm going to do now here is I have a, you heard about my Quad Plus, and all it has is seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. Plus it has paprika. I've already seasoned this flour here with this seasoning, and I'm going to also add some on directly on the pork steak. Little bit okay I love garlic so I'm gonna add some extra garlic to this remember guys you can season it as you will the way you want to this method is the method that I like when I do my um, smothered pork steak I remember my mom and my sister used to love this I'm gonna shout out to my nephew Lamont because he's got this recipe he asked me one day ain't he what do you do to your pork steak to make it like this? Well, shout out to you. I'm going to shout out to all of my YouTube subscribers. And I'm going to appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel. Just bear with me and we'll get this started. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and put some cornstarch on here for extra crispiness. Just a little bit of cornstarch. Y'all wouldn't believe the stories I have about this type of Argo cornstarch. Oh my God, when I was pregnant back in my day, they had the cornstarch in a box and it came in big chunks, big chunks of it. And that was my craving, just cornstarch. That was with Patrick, my oldest. <laughs> well, he seems a little weird, that's why. Okay, now I'm going to also break an break a egg on this. And we're going to just marry all this together. Just get it all nice and wet. I've got my skillet on and it's heating up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bread these, these bad boys up right here. Like so. Flip that over. I'm gonna put it in that hot oil, vegetable oil. And um, I'll get back when that okay, we're ready to put this in the oil. I've got just regular vegetable oil in here, nothing more. Okay. I'm gonna shake some of that extra flour off and we're ready to fry it up. Okay, we're going to let these get golden brown, light brown on both sides. I'm going to remove them and put them in the oven and I'm going to start my gravy. 
Okay, I'm getting ready to put these in the oven on 375 and start the Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and start the gravy. I still have the drippings from the pork, uh, pork steak here. I'm just gonna put some onions in here. I let them saute. I'm gonna turn this down to a, uh, just be almost medium low. Okay, so while this is sauteing here, we're gonna go ahead and add our flour to this. That's about, that's about a half a cup of flour right there. Maybe a little bit less. I don't want this to burn, so I'm gonna turn this down on low for right now. Medium low, which is at three o'clock, guys. Okay. Just a little bit more flour, and this is the same flour from the uh, breading that we did on the pork steak. Now, I can't tell you how thick you would want this, but I've got water here. I'm gonna start, let me turn this back up just a little bit. I'm gonna start stirring until I get the desired thickness I want. At this time, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken flavoring to that. And I'm going to get a little bit more water. And of course, you know, we got, we got to use our black pepper. I'm going to add just a little bit of <clears throat> uh, seasoning salt to this. Okay, we're getting ready to get this pork steak here out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this over the pork steak here, this gravy. Get it all smutted nice and good and proper. As the Jamaican man say on stands, fan, my favorite fishing show. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lift these up so that uh, gravy can get all up under here really good. And we're covering it up. Seal it up really good. We're gonna return that to the oven. And we'll be right back. With our so over here in this pot, I've got some uh, red potatoes boiling rapidly. I don't want them to get really soft. I just want them to be al dente. And that's just about where they are now. Just al dente where you could just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And I'm getting ready to prepare the the okra and tomatoes. Okay, we're going to start out with the bacon. Okay, we got that bacon going pretty good here. Trying to render that fat because this is frozen okra. This recipe is really good with fresh okra, but we're using frozen okra. Now, a lot of people don't like their okra salami, and I'm one of those people. I cannot stand salami okra. So this is a method that you can fix your okra that won't render it really slimy. I like the bacon in here because it gives it another added flavor. But also, I'm going to use a little olive oil. 
in addition to the oil that the bacon is rendering. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add the onion. Chop onion to this. Okay, so as these start to saute and fry up, I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic. And this is like one whole, actually it was two small medium garlic chopped up. Love that fresh garlic. So while these are all sauteing up, guess what we're going to do? We're going to also saute the okra. So this is approximately, I'm going to say a cup and a half of this chopped cut okra. So as you can hear, that sizzling, that sizzle is going to help take that sliminess out of the okra. Some people can eat it. I can eat a whole okra um, boil, but when it comes to the cut okra, for some reason, I, um, I can't do that for some reason. A little salt. That's about a little bit less than a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to put about a teaspoon full of black pepper in here. A lot of black pepper. I want to say almost a tablespoon of black pepper. So if I start sneezing, <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> but we all know that black pepper, if you've got, if you're cooking and something is missing on your dish, you're like something, something, something's not right. Add some black pepper to it. Trust me. Trust the process. It will kick up that flavor that you're looking for. I'm gonna, speaking of kicking up, I'm gonna pick this uh, stove up on high so we can go ahead and get this okra started. I'm gonna also be adding a little bit of oregano. Just a couple of shakes. We don't wanna turn this into an Italian dish, but we wanna give it a little added flavor. That's about a half, a little bit less than half a teaspoon of uh, oregano. So we'll let that render down. Okay, okay. Right. that okra has been cooked for a while. And another, we're trying to get rid of the slime on the okra. So another way you can tell that the okra is ready is that it'll have that, it won't have that really light green that it has when we first started. It's got like a nice, I'm going to say a proper looking green on it like about like that. So this is just about ready. I don't see any slime going on in here at all anymore. And this is just about ready to add our tomatoes. Okay. I'm gonna add one can of tomato sauce. stove <laughs> with the, with the uh, tomatoes popping everywhere and I'm going to add a half a can of uh, diced tomatoes one half can I'm going to let that simmer down for a minute, I'm going to turn the stove down also on medium. I'm going to add just a little bit of chicken bouillon flavoring, maybe like a little quarter, quarter teaspoon of that, just to kick up the flavor on it. So we're going to let this simmer while, and you've got your. I love this with ground meat. So good. With uh, just some ground meat. Okra and ground meat. Okay, we'll let that simmer. And, and there you go. Okay, we're ready for the unveiling of the pork, smothered pork steak. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yes, sir. You have smothered pork steak. 
I don't want to, it looks like it's going to fall if I pick it up. Let's go ahead and plate this up. Let's hope it doesn't fall. It's falling, breaking down, breaking the pieces as I put it on the plate. Right there, you got your pork steak. Look at that. Just falling to pieces. Cut it with a, cut it with a fork. Very tender. I'm going to add a little bit of the gravy that we made on here. Got some potatoes, regular buttered, scalloped potatoes, red potatoes, and we got our okra, okra and tomatoes. Now that's a plate. That's a plate, y'all. There it is, y'all. Your smothered pork steak, okra and tomatoes, and you got some uh, scalloped red potatoes. Okay, until the next time, if you like this video, share, comment on it. I'm, I'm waiting for some comments, guys. I, I can't tell if I'm doing anything right or wrong to please you guys, so let me know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Once again, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. You'll be notified if you hit that bell every time I upload or my producer uploads a video. And uh, we can stay in touch that way. This is uh, Chef LaWanda Studio. Bidding you a good night until the next time.